All right, we are back with my time at Sandrock, and today might be the day that we finally finish this quest. Oh, we got four bearings. I need five. All right, we got to find more mechanical scrap. From Research Center. Yeah, we finished some research too. Builder, the research you commissioned is now complete. The blueprints are enclosed as promised, impeccable and punctually delivered. Processor. Acquire to learn how to make processor. It can be made with bricks, old parts, grinding saws, copper bars at an assembly station. Well, thank you very much. I've got some rubber scrap. Let's um stick that in there, see what we get. More glass, why not? Oh my god. It's my lucky day. Once again, I am out of inventory space. Whack that junk. I'm getting gold. I'm getting copper scrap. I'm getting data disks. More data disk. I can. Uh, I think I can assemble that thing at the uh, museum now. The relic. That's it. Oh no, we only need um, four bearings, not five. Okay, so we have enough bearings. There we go. Now we gotta wait for the rubber scrap to finish and then we can See if we can get more copper sticks. Uh, let's go to the bulletin board. Hi, Yan. Ready to start your day? Howdy. Hey, a uh, quick word. Do you think you're actually going to finish Rocky's commission? Yes, yes. Uh, We've heard that before. I am on the cusp of finishing this mission. Yeah. Well, I heard that the breach here in town used to be one of the tallest buildings in the old world metropolis. It's still much shorter than the elevator in Tall Sky. Yeah, we walked by the breach. It looked like a cave. Uh, grinding saws. How to make grinding saws? I don't remember. Thin thread. That shouldn't be a problem. Sand hat. Need recipe. Work table, tailor made. That should be an easy one. All right, to the museum.
This music is so dramatic. Alright. Let's finish this fossil. Uh, looks like a fish. Fish fossil plus one. Now I assume I donate this. In museum, medium exhibit. Okay. Is that a medium exhibit? That's a large exhibit. Uh, this is a small exhibit. Um, this is a medium. Okay. Workshop reputation, plus 10. Put in storage. Um, okay. Put down. Oh, okay. So, like, I can donate more than four things to the medium exhibits, I assume. But I can only have four on display. So if I want to have something else, if I want to change it, I put this in storage and put something else in its place. I see. Hi, Katori. Wow, that was a loud hello. What's your favorite game over at the Golden Goose? Me? I couldn't choose. They're all like my children. Hmm. So long, partner. It's an odd... Odd way to describe your, um... Games of chance? In your casino? Wait a minute. A piece of the past. Talk to Katori. With the fish fossil, I gotta... Oh no. I was supposed to talk to her. Oh crud. I already donated it. Um... Was I supposed to give that as a gift? Every person in Sandrock has their own unique likes and dislikes. Try to find out what their favorite gifts are to become friends with them quickly. Wanna spar? What's your favorite game over at the Golden Oh man. Oh, that was, that was a loud see ya. Um Museum reward? Floral casual wristband. Okay, what I, I don't know what that does, but I'll take it. Katori relationship plus five. Nice. It's a bit awkward how the music stops when I go to the menu. Um, equip it. Defense point six. All right. Hello. Hello. So long, partner. So long. Well, I think I messed this up. I was supposed to give her the fish fossil. Um, maybe I'll get another one. Maybe it's not like a one-time thing. Maybe I can get more and I can sell them. Or whatever. Now, how many data disks do I have? Let's sort our inventory. I have two. Okay, so I can't do any more research right now. Hey, unsure. We were short-handed in the Sandrock Civil Corps. Then the captain showed up to help us fight the bad guys. You should also get a pet. Uh, those things seem totally unrelated. That's, um... Be seeing you. Yeah, okay. A pet plus...
plus trouble at the core. Got it. Clean up. What is that? Dregs. Arvio, hi. Hey! You're from High Wind, right? My sis and I passed through there on our way here from Bonnarok. It's a beautiful place. Yes, High Wind. See ya! I'm totally from there. It's a great place, I'm sure. Sister City of Breakwind. Alright, for this commission, we need 10 thin thread. Let's do it. There we go. Collect my glass. Uh, 33 seconds until that's done, then we can get some copper. Uh, let's... Let's go to this commission and track it. Where is that lady? Tailor-made. Don't think I've been in here. Hi, Jasmine. I remember you. You were stealing from my mailbox. Howdy. Hmm. I'm not big yet, but I can still deliver the mail. Oh, did you get your subscription for the Tumbleweed Standard yet? Uh, I guess I should. So long, partner. There are several post-it notes on the fridge. The sand rice at home is almost finished. Remember to bring back 50 bags on the way home. I guess they go through a lot. Hey, she's got a TV. That's nice. Well, look at you. Hey, a Vivi. Builder in town. Always glad to see a new face. Here now, sugar. Take this scarf. It gets chilly here at night. Courtesy of Taylor Maid. Don't be a stranger, you hear? Well, thank you very much. A silk scarf. Hello. I finished your commission. Give me stuff. Mm -hmm. Just what I was looking for. Thanks, Big Vlad. Don't be a stranger. Oh, I'm gonna win this uh, commission contest. Some toys are laid out here. You presume they're Jas Jasmine's, not Hugo's. I never know. Some of Vivi's work are on display here. They look pretty neat. They do indeed. The bookshelf has a mix of professional works and children's stories. It's probably shared by everyone. There's a whole series called The Maltese Pigeon. I never saw that movie, The Maltese Falcon. No, I did. Right. Yes, I did. Uh, Hugo's Boots is probably an environmental hazard if you get any closer. Closer. Hugo's Boots? Oh, I can see through the door. An old family photo. There's more. It looks like he hasn't aged a day for better or worse. Cooper and Mabel, Hugo, a young and bright Owen, and Owen's father. Vivi is nowhere to be seen. Presumably, she took the photo herself. Apparently, they don't have, um... Selfie sticks. Several old, photo old photos are here. It looks to be of Hugo and his wife who passed away years ago. They seem so happy. It's hard to see her as anything but full of life. Yeah, she looks young, I think. It's hard to tell. Let's spy on his room. Heidi's bookshelf. It has a few books on architecture and a charming statue. There's a book here called Introduction to Deconstructive Architecture. It's signed by Heidi's master, Verna. Seems a bit advanced for Heidi.
All right, we got. Um, I, I wanted to go to the Blue Moon Saloon, but our recycler ran out of juice. I gotta take care of that. I thought I put enough juice in there. Hey, Coco. Cuckoo. Bye. Uh. Oh no, I added another one. Oh crap, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do my copper. Oh well, I'll be back here. I'm gonna go to the Blue Moon Saloon. Before I forget. Oh, there goes the train. Did it stop here? I didn't see it stop. Alright, let's explore it proper. What do we got here? Chili and an omelet. Several recipes are on these post-it notes. Egg roll recipe. Mix eggs, flour, and milk. Mix well. Pour the ingredients into the pan and heat. Add sand for that secret crunchy taste. This is a joke. Oh, did she not? Did she not read that this is a joke part? She's is she actually adding sand to the omelet? Hi, Grace. Howdy. Back in school, we learned all about how Sandrock was built on a big old world metropolis. Sadly, due to the current state of affairs, not many people are out here looking for archaeological finds anymore. See well, I dug up a relic. Piece of one, anyway. What does that say? Call 780 something something. Hey, Owen, what's new? Hey there, Builder. Did you get my letter? Why don't we have a chat over some food and drinks? It, it won't take too long. Sure, no problem. I've been meaning to catch up with you since you moved in. But I guess you and me, Anne, have been busy with all that's been going on of late. We have. <laughs> As a small token of my appreciation, I'd like to offer you some food and drinks on the house. Looks good. To a newcomer. Sand rock can be a bit overwhelming, but lucky for you, this old barkeep has been around for just a hair longer than a pan bat's age. I don't know what that means. Perhaps I can shed some light on any subjects you're still unfamiliar with. What would you sure. like to know about? Civil uh, courts. The civil core here are that thin, dusty line that stands between us and the many threats crawling throughout the Ufala desert. But they only have two core members here. Uh, plus, <laughs> a cat. Two core members and a cat. That's all you I'm need. I'm amazed that they're able to keep up with all the security demand. Of course, Pen from the church helps out as well. Now, the one running the civil corps is a man named Justice. He and I go way... He's a little out there. He's one of the toughest guys around Sandrock these days. But back when we were kids, he was afraid of his own shadow. <laughs> oh, boy. How times do change. He's a great guy. And his partner, Unsure, is also very reliable. If you ever run into trouble, you can surely count on them to help you out. Surely. What would you like to know about? The Church of Light is all about preserving the sense of community and getting rid of dangerous Age of Corruption technology. Oh no. But the interesting thing about our chapter is that Matilda is extremely lenient when it comes to relics and old tech. The Brotherhood of Steel. In Sandrock, we're allowed They've to made it to Sandrock. Pretty mean stuff. Sometimes they'll even let relic weapons slide. And it's a good thing, too. Uh, life would be much harder out here if we didn't have the means to defend ourselves. Our chapter is pretty unique in that way. 
although I heard some chapters near the peripheries take similar stances. The church members are always proactive about helping people in and around Sandrock, especially the old folk and the youngins. Well, that's good. They've gotten so organized that, as a matter of fact, they actually help handle a lot of administrative type stuff in town. Uh, we'd be up a creek without them. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, creeks have water, don't they? Yeah, it's an expression. What would you like to know about? The people. Let's see, where to begin? We're a small town, so pretty much everybody knows everybody else. There's Vivi the tailor, Heidi the architect and engineer, Cooper, Mabel, and Elsie down at the ranch. Katori and her game center. Dr. Fang and his bird. Oh, I've met him. There's also Arvio and Amira, the sibling duo from Barnarok who moved here not that long ago. Arvio is young, but he runs the general store pretty nicely, all things considered. I don't think I've met Amira. Amira makes ceramics that are top notch. I think she's even starting to gain some recognition from people outside of Sandrock. You can definitely tell Amira is the older sister. She's always the one covering for her brother whenever his youth gets the better of him. What's also amazing is that she never lets her skills get to her head. She's very down to earth and she... Uh, sorry, maybe I'm talking too much. <laughs> oh, sounds like you're really into her. Really, this town is full of nice people. If there's someone you want to get to know better, ask them to hang out. Make time out of your day to go see him. I don't have time. <laughs> hey, who doesn't like a nice gift now and again? I'm sure you'll have plenty of friends in no time. I will give them my sandworms. What would you like to know about? All right, the dangers. Uh, yes, there is an infamous bandit around here named Logan. I'm not he afraid of him. He used to be a citizen of our town as well. Uh, one day he just went crazy and blew up a building. I guess being out here in the desert makes some people lose their minds. No one just goes crazy and blows up a building. There's more to that story. Other than that, you have to watch out for some dangerous animals roaming the wilds. <laughs> like the Geeglers. Uh, they're mutated lizards who seem bent on causing us trouble for some reason. Geeglers. Yeah, that, okay. Oh, and how could I forget? <laughs> the Again, storms. not very intimidating as far as, uh... Trying to stop the winds from name goes, Geeklers. Little greenery we have left. You know, it wasn't always like this. A lot of people have left, and I can't really blame them. I like Sandbar it here. Might not be the best place for everybody, but there are still people who love this town, and we'll all be sticking around for better or for worse. I'll stick around. What would you like to know about? That's <laughs> yep. it. Uh, don't let me talk your ear off. Some things you've just got to experience to understand. Don't worry too much. You'll fit right in. Hey, Thank you. I've been doing all this talking, and I haven't had a bite to eat yet. Uh, maybe you should share your tales as well. Well, I don't have much to tell you. I came here... Nice. Oh. We gotta do this more often. In any case, let me hit you with a couple takeaway dishes for later. <laughs> Builders can't go hungry, you know? You've got, uh, four, five, six rings Stop on your fingers. Blue moon anytime you're out of energy and need a picker-upper. Don't know what to order. Get the special of the day. That's right. We've got a discount on something new every day. Look at that sparkly food. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to turn this into an ad spot for the saloon. I'm sure you're busy learning the ropes around here. I'd better get back to it, too. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Well, he's a friendly fellow. Once again, my inventory. Sp oh, spend 50 golds. Yikes. Okay. This clock looks really expensive. It's full of complicated gears and systems. Doesn't seem to be working. It's probably used for decoration. For some reason, their clocks don't work. Full of ingredients. Uh, we got a stage here. A book with a lot of handwritten notes by Owen about the stories he plans to tell. He is a storyteller. Hey, Mason. Mm -hmm. You haven't left yet? You want some advice? 
Uh, how about, don't ask too many darn questions. Wow. A hero from the early days of the Alliance of Free Cities during the first war with Duvos. Supposedly he ordered his men to attack the enemy by crossing a mountain range, but he was riding a sloth mule, not a horse. Well, a sloth mule would look silly. This guy, Mason, um... Man, something in this town just, uh... Really did a number on him. Various paintings. Owen oh, really takes care of his guests. This room's come as equipped with a desk for the most hardworking of guests. A guest book from the Blue Moon. Various guests have all written beaming reviews. These beds were really comfortable. A nice and quiet place to stay. And friendliest owner this side of the Ufala. Learned about painting. Dueling Knights. It looks like two warriors from thousands of years ago during the ancient old world. It's hard to say if this is based on real events or just a fantastical drawing. I'd be sweating buckets if I wore all that armor. Yeah, that's that's just fantasy. That never happened. Complimentary snacks and drinks. What do we got here? A present. Can't interact with it. Hmm, it's shiny. A selection of top quality reading materials for the well-traveled guest. Alright, let's see what's going on with this recycler. I gotta finish this crane lift. And I think I can. Oh, 22 seconds. Come on, man. get a wooden board. Is that from the um, the high quality wood piles? Oh, in a processor. Okay. In that case, I don't want to spend my wooden board to get a Oh, that's for the bookcase. Okay, the storage. Put in storage. I can do that. Oh boy. Look what I got. A wooden storage. How do I use it? There we go. Uh, we can wear... No, don't store that. Wear it. Let's wear the scarf. Ah, level 10. Alright, store it. Store the rubber, the old parts. Store the builder's license. Bullets. All right, good enough. Come on, five seconds. Oh, 
Oh, finally. Okay. Copper scrap. That's what I want, right? Yeah, I want copper sticks. Copper scrap. All of it. Finish in 13 minutes, 30 seconds. Alright, there we go. All we need is one copper stick. Should I fight the ant? He seems so friendly. Oh, I don't do any damage. Yeah, I don't do a lot of damage, but I got him. I got ant honey, manure. Nice. What do we do with the ant honey? Where is it? Here we go. The honey produced by bumble ants has different properties from the standard bee honey. It's also sweet, but has a peculiar taste. Stamina plus three from monsters. Huh. That doesn't seem worth it unless there's something I can do with it. Use it in a recipe or something. I gotta upgrade my tools. Which means I think I have to upgrade. Uh, so is there a copper... Axe or anything? It goes straight to iron, I guess. Hmm, yeah. I don't have any of this stuff. Bronze. Oh, I can get a... A proper weapon. Instead of fighting with my axe. Like a silly person. Requires wooden stick. Why not? Let's make a stone spear. Attack 29 to 34. I got throwing rocks. Oh, jeez. I don't want that. Oh, maybe I could use that to pop the balloon. Let's uh, sort my inventory here. Get my food up there. Okay. Where's those uh, throwing rocks? There we go. Let's try it. How far can I throw? Ooh, I don't think that's going to be high enough. I can give it a try. There's a balloon. Right up here. I shall take the manure.
Hold on, I'm not going the right way. It's by the museum. There it is. That's pretty high. Okay, maybe if I get on the roof here. Dang it. Oh, I think I can get it. Oh, so close. I don't... Yeah, there we go. Oh, it just goes right through. Ah, oh, well. I need a proper uh, bow and arrow. But now that I have a proper weapon... Oh, I can grab my throwing rocks again. Well, maybe that's a different one. Uh, these are not the ones I threw. They're just kind of tumbling from the rock there. Um, but now that I have a proper weapon... Maybe we could do some combat. Let's try to fight one of these things. I assume they're bad. Bloodstone. Here, let's try to... Also rock at it. That. Woke him up. Oh, level 28? Well, okay. Let's, um... Let's not even bother. At this point... I feel comfortable fighting the ants. And that's about it. Maybe a rooster? Maybe I could, uh... Pound on a rooster? Wild Alpha Yak Mill. You're not going to attack me, are you? Oh. Oh, the fishing uh, side quest. You uh, doing okay there? Geezer? I pressed the button. What is it? Old geezer. Oh, <laughs> I must have dozed off. I thought you were my blathering old man Cooper. Hey, you're tougher than you look. If not for you, that whopper might have pulled me in. Say, you ever done much sand fishing yourself? Giving it your all, struggling against nature, never knowing for sure who'll come out on top. In case you hadn't figured it out, that's kind of my thing. Nice, teach me. You're a city slicker, ain't ya? Well, don't you be afraid of the great outdoors now, you hear? That's a whole desert out there just waiting to be explored, and all kinds of sandfish just waiting to be caught. How do I make a fishing rod? Here's some stuff that'll get you started. Don't worry about hitting me back. I got plenty more where this came from. All right. Well, I'd better get gone and find Sand out what happened to my old man before he finds me and talks my dang ear off. So long. All right, see ya. Sandfish trap. What did we pull out of there? It looked like a trap. I don't think I got one though. I gotta make one. Alright, something we'll have to try later. Oh, 
How's our carpet doing? Let's have a look. Ah. Uh, no copper bars or sticks. Alright, we got seven more scrap in there. I better get something. Wild Yak Mill. I'm afraid to fight them. Plus, they're cute. So I don't want to fight them. But this Rocket Rooster... He's a problem. I gotta get up there. What level is he? Five? I can take him. Learned about Rocket Rooster. We got Rooster Rocket, Damaged Animal Pelt. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff. Level 8 Cockadoodle... Cockadoodle Doodle Doom. Ow. Ah, uh, laid a bomb egg. Oh, you're not so bad. Damage animal pelt. Uh, and we are out of inventory space. Gunpowder. Egg. My god. Two more inventory slots. Meat. Damaged animal pelt. Um, what do we do with it? Do we put that in the recycler? Ah, there we go. Copper stick. Finally. Holy cow. It's finished. And it's beautiful. Build a crane lift. Pick up. Perfect. Install the crane lift. Okay. Finally, we can complete the quest. I think Mima already finished hers. Do it. Hmm, are there other things I can install here besides a crane lift? Maybe, um, higher quality crane lifts or something? Here we go. We got it. He's happy. No more finger pointing. Alright, we can get down. And we lowered him into lava. I gotta tell you, those two lifts you made are running like a drain. Looks like Yan finally did something right higher in the two of you. Maybe we don't have to move out of Sand Rock after all. Nah, we're good. Well, now me and my boys can finally get back into the abandoned ruins and get to work. 
but we're still way behind on our mining quota. Say, that gives me an idea. You two like diving, don't you? If by diving you mean mining. Sure we do. Ruin diving is what builders do best. Well, that and building. Exactly. I think I got another way we can both help each other out. You want to do some digging? You scratch my back, I'll scratch right, yours. So Let's do the it. Deal. The abandoned ruins around here are the pride and joy of Ufala Salvage. They hold precious resources and relics from the old world. They're open to anybody who has the same pass you use to access our salvage yard. Pass fees pay for folks like you to rent a jetpack in case you dig yourself a jet pack. Deep, and a scanner for finding relics easier. Also, sometimes we gotta hire the Civil Corps to go through from time to time to make sure we don't have any, uh, incidents. Right. You builders can use your pick hammers to dig tunnels through the ruins, and also to break up ores and valuables that you can take back to your workshop to make all kinds of cool stuff. I'm looking forward Anything's to it. Everything's fine as keepers down there, but, uh, I got a little proposition for you. What do you want? Since the lift's been out of commission for so long, me and my boys are gonna have to break our backs to make up for lost time. If you want to sell me some of the ores you find in the next couple of days, I'd pay you top goals. I'd rather smelt them. Just something to consider. But I might, if I have extra. Well, you enjoy yourselves. Don't mind anything I wouldn't mind. Woohoo! It's mining time! That's what I always say. Hey, Pebbles. Are you a uh, rocky son? No wonder you walk with such confidence. You look like a doll. Like a Chucky doll. I'm scared of you. Alright, we got junk piles back. And... I'm all out of... Stamina. Well... That's all we can do. Well, it was a good day. We finally completed our task. And uh, maybe tomorrow we can go to the mine. See what's down there. What can we build next? The processor. Um, I think I can do this. Bricks, grinding saws, old parts. Yeah, this is all doable. Copper bars, done. Bricks, done. Old parts, well... Maybe soon. We'll put some more stuff in the recycler. And, uh, see if we can get some more old parts. But uh, we did good today. Whew, let's take a nap.